And with that, we will welcome you to the 2021 fall celebration of our Club Next program. Uh, this is an online celebration of the Digital Club and all of the different pieces that the Digital Club does. Tonight, we're going to hear stories about the Digital Club, and that is with Club Next Online. That's with our Udemy project, um, as well as with our Code Academy program. Um, this recording is live. However, it will be posted later on uh, for anybody who is unable to join us tonight. So for starters, um, what is Club Next and where did the Digital Club come from? Um, a little over a year ago, when we saw that schools were not opening again, um, due to COVID-19 still being highly transmissible in our community, we wanted to figure out what was the way that we could continue to engage with youth that was in a safe space, in a safe setting. Uh, so we created Club Next. Um, this was our first dive into a digital club. Uh, we looked at doing online programming. What did that really look like? Uh, and then from there, it just kind of kept expanding as we saw that you know, in our world, it is becoming ever more technology based. And we do believe and see that these skills are going to be invaluable to the youth, all of our youth in our community. So Club Next, you want to think of it as three different pieces underneath one umbrella. You have Club Next Live, which is our online club where students are able to get online and get help with homework. They can get help with math tutoring. They can get on and do a book nook session. Um, they're also able to get online and play online games with friends in a secure uh, environment. Uh, you also have Code Academy, which is our coding and app design program where uh, we do these sessions in person, either at a school or at a, a designated space off site. Um, so students come in and they spend time and they are learning foundational coding concepts as well as walking through the app design process. Then you have Teen Accelerator, which is going to be our Udemy project, which is with a partner, Cloud Era, which is a data company here in Nashville. So we're going to take another look here at Club Next Live. Club members do register for a virtual membership. They have access to, as I said, the math tutoring, homework, help, literacy practice, and even more. Students are able to get online with us. They're able to share their screen so that we can walk them through their homework if they need that. With Book Nook, it's always a guided reading session, so they are paired with an adult and a mentor that's able to walk them through the different processes. Uh, it is required to have a virtual membership to be able to access the live, which is one of the key features that we're able to help keep this safe and secure. Book Nook, uh, this is a screenshot of our friend Amin. Uh, this was from one of his Book Nook sessions. Um, wanted to give him a shout out because he did increase by uh, two different reading levels um, just after, you know, three weeks or so working with us, if, if even that long. Um, and so that that just goes to speak to the it just goes to speak volumes to the validity of that literacy program and then the work that we are doing. Uh, students are also able to get online um, and play games like Rec Room. They're able to get online and, and play Slither.io. Uh, these are some of the other things um, in the middle. You have a screenshot of Book Nook. On the top, that's My Future, which is our on-demand or on-the-go activities. And then down in the bottom was one of our um, online sessions from last spring with Miss Micah. I do believe that they were doing an educational program about saving energy. Next up, we have Code Academy. Uh, Code Academy, as I said, is designed to teach students foundational coding concepts and app design. Uh, these sessions are all have all been hosted in person. They happen throughout the school year. We have been inside of Schwab Elementary. Uh, we are about to be inside a school down in Franklin, and we are looking at expanding even more going into next school year. This past summer was the initial pilot, and it served almost 200 students across seven different weeks across seven different sites. Club members are learning these concepts through hands-on learning, a gamified learning platform, and instructor-led coaching. All of the staff that are a part of that program have been trained through Apple, uh, we have an Apple learning rep that we work with very closely, as well as um, Apple uh, technology guru, if we may, that uh, has walked us through how we can better manage the devices so that they are working great with the students that we are working with. And then again, here's a couple of uh, snapshots from our time at Schwab Elementary. We work with a small group of fifth graders. It was a fantastic process. They did, they did super well. They had a lot of fun with it. It was fantastic. Next up, we have our Teen Accelerator Program. 
So this program came around uh, January of 2021. Uh, they had reached out to us about how they could come on board and partner with us with Club Next, with the online club. They explained what their vision was, what they wanted to do, and we realized that it really fit high school students best. The program uh, that they are pushing uh, is through Udemy, which is really designed at older learners. So that's high school students that is and, and college age students. Uh, so we started looking at how we could do this, how we could implement this, um, and we started a pilot. We just jumped in. We said, let's go ahead. Let's give it a shot. And, and, it, and it went all right. It went all right. There were some, some things that we wanted to do differently. So then when we came back around this school year, we decided that we were going to do it in a completely different method. Uh, students now have the opportunity to do some exploration. And then if they want to go even deeper, then they can apply for the mentorship program where they'll meet one-on-one -on -one with a Cloudera data engineer. Um, that way that they are growing their professional skills and their personal skills, and they're getting one-on-one -on -one mentorship from somebody who is actually doing and working inside the computer science industry. Then from there, then those students who want to go even further, those who are 16 years old and older are going to be able to apply for a paid internship through Cloudera next summer that uh, they will be paying for them to come and work with them. Uh, so they get a real life in-depth look at what does it look like to look inside a corporate world as well as what does it look like to work inside the computer science field. Um, and so these are just some screenshots from the last year. Uh, we also did back in the spring, we would do every Friday afternoon, we would do just a fun time that we got on and we played Kahoot. And um, it was always fun. Sometimes they were educational. A lot of times, though, it was just fun and it was fantastic. And first up for our staff highlight, we're going to have Miss Tatiana. She's going to go first. Hi, guys. I'm Tatiana. Um, one thing that I look forward to while working at the Boys and Girls Club is um, actually the book nook. Um, I know sometimes it can be a little tedious helping the younger kids um, with their literacy um, and helping them work on their rhyming and parts of words, um, but it's fun. Um, and one thing I'm looking forward to is over Christmas break, we'll be doing probably some cooking pre-recordings um, for kids to be able to go and look at and spice up some everyday meals uh, make them a little bit healthier or just give them a new variation. Um, so looking forward to that. Yeah, I think that's about it. All right. Well, thank you, Miss Tatiana. We, I, I am looking forward to the videos as well. I want to learn how to spice up my noodles. Uh, so Mr. Gerald is actually helping out at one of our club locations uh, this afternoon. Um, I would say that Probably one of his highlights has been just being able to see the kids um, get to know the content and learn how to work that app design process. Um, it takes a lot of creative thinking as well as logical thinking. Um, and that's definitely one area that I see him shine in. And next up we have Miss Liana. Hi, I am Liana. I am new to Club Next, but I've spent some time in some of our in-person clubs, so I'm excited to be part of the online format. Um, I have been sitting in on some book nook sessions and it's been exciting to see the kiddos grow in their literacy and they seem really into book nook. It's a really fun platform. Um, looking forward to the next few weeks of winter break. I am a certified children's yoga instructor, so I will be doing some mindfulness and movement sessions um, available live and probably recorded as well. So yeah, that's me. Awesome. And I, I as well am looking forward to some yoga movement and mindfulness things over winter break. And next up we have Mr. Wells Marvel. All right. Hi, I'm Wells. Uh, I've been working with Melissa since uh, at least the summer uh, and doing mainly uh, her Code Academy. Uh, the highlight for me has probably been learn to code one, um, which I really think is a superior piece of, uh, of software in teaching kids how to code. Uh, a lot of the stuff that I've seen in the past, 
has been really good at the game part, but not so much the coding concepts part. And then some of the other stuff has been really good with the concepts, but not so much grabbing the kids' attention. Uh, this platform that we use uses uh, Swift, which is Apple's programming language, and uh, it's been really excellent, and it's been good to um, have that coordination with Cassandra as well. Um, looking forward to winter break. Uh, we're talking about it. I'm thinking maybe I'm going to stream some stuff on Twitch, uh, potentially record it, things that the, the kiddos are playing um, and that I'm frankly playing myself. And then I guess as a bonus, um, we're hopefully doing that computer camp in March um, at uh, the site at, uh, at Cleveland Park. And uh, we're going to get 15 computers and um, it's going to be a real hardware uh, sort of mechanic style class on how to uh, take them apart and put them back together. Those are the things I'm looking forward to. Absolutely. And I believe that that computer building class, we will be partnering with one of our school based sites. Um, they do, oh, hello, phone. They do um, a program where they use Piper kits to build a computer. So we'll have that available for both younger kiddos as well as older kiddos. And next up, we have Mr. Adam. Hi, I'm Adam. Uh, like Liana, I also started in the physical club before moving on to Club Next. Um, I have greatly enjoyed my time with Club Next and working with the kids on Bookmook and watching them grow in their reading literacy. I think that being able to read and uh is one of the greatest joys in life and it's an important skill for children to have especially in adulthood uh one of the things that i'm looking forward to is i just got a job as an esl teacher and i'm hoping to incorporate that into club next as well so that's for english second one second sorry english second language learners and i'm not sure exactly what it's going to look like yet we're going to make sure that we try to incorporate something that is educational but different than school since they already spend all day in school so uh, i look forward to it absolutely i definitely think that there is um a totally different level of community that we would be able to reach out to with offering classes like that and i just you know i think it's really important that we we appeal to the communities that we are in oh and i'm last uh, so my my highlights, um, you know, it's really hard to pick a favorite. Um, I, I, I guess I would have to say maybe the organicness of of how all these different pieces have kind of come from one initial thought. Um, the creativity of the team is super awesome to me, um, being able to say, hey, I have this really crazy idea and the team is just like, OK, like, how do we do this? Um, and so it's just it's awesome to be able to have a group of people with like minds that, you know, want to work towards one passion and want to work toward one goal. Um, and that is to just continue to deliver um, digital and tech programming to kids um, and, and just to continue, you know, being trusting and take risks try something new. Um, pretty sure I feel like it's like every other week. I'm like, hey, guys, we're going to try this new thing um, because you got to you got to keep trying until you find, you know, you just got to keep being innovative. And so that's the end of the staff highlights. We are going to go ahead and jump into club member awards. Um, these are typically given out. Um, so the concept of, of the fall celebration um, typically in a traditional club or in a just in a physical club period, this presentation would be done in person. Uh, there would be a meal that went along with it, and then the, we would give out awards. And so we would go through and we would highlight students that have really excelled, have really gone above and beyond um, throughout the year, throughout the semester, however long that um, however long that it's been going on. So. Uh, we're going to start out with our book nook rock stars, and I believe Adam, are you the one that's worked with Amin and Kavya, or was it you and Tatiana? Um, I think I I've definitely worked with Kavya. I think me and Tatiana have worked with Amin. So, do you guys want to share anything about just you know how they have done with book nook? 
Um, any kind of highlight or, or shout out for them? For Amin, he has gotten more confident as uh, we've done more sessions um, where sometimes it'll take him a, like, not halfway through the session, but after maybe two or three activities, he'd be more confident in his answer. Now he starts off pretty strong and ends pretty strong. And he's it, he's improving faster now that I feel like he's built more confidence and got more comfortable with um, Book Nook and with staffing. Yeah. Yeah, I would I would agree with that. I think uh, I think I mean, he was definitely a little nervous or a little unsure of, uh, you know, talking with people on, uh, you know, web call the first few times he was on. And I'm excited to see where he goes from here. Um, as far as Kavya goes, she is just such a, like, bright student. Uh, the first time that we did the uh, assessment, she was on for, I think, over an hour because she just kept on blowing through each single level. And I think I think towards the end, she probably could have kept on going, but she was, <laughs> both of us were just kind of like, yeah, I think we've been testing for enough. Uh, and... <laughs> Uh, throughout the sessions that I've done with her, she has just continued to show off uh, how bright and smart she is. And uh, I just am so excited to see where she can go. We're all, we're honestly, we've got to come up with some more challenges for her soon. Absolutely. And there are other, um, some other ideas I have, uh, you know, especially if she winds up testing out. You know, it might be fantastic to, uh, you know, maybe we, we do some kind of like a like a book book club or something. I don't know. Totally open to ideas. Like, let's let's keep pushing her. We'll see how far we can get her. All right. And so next up, we have Club Buck Rockstar. Um, and I will. I will share about so Club Bucks are. The club's um, currency, if you will. Students are able to get on and students are able to get on and earn club bucks simply by. And I think I hear somebody coming into the room. Um, students are able to get on and earn club bucks simply by logging in for an online session, for um, logging on and you know submitting a. Um, my future activity. And so uh, there, there's tons of different ways that students are able to earn club bucks. And um, Paul was actually able to uh, purchase one of our Amazon Fire tablets that we have listed up on our uh, virtual club buck store. And um, so, yeah, in, in the first like two months or so, he was able to do that many different sessions. Um, he got online, he did uh, the gaming sessions as well as completing my future activities. And we just we wanted to highlight him as our Club Buck rock star because he definitely earned the most. And next up, uh, so our Udemy rock star. Um, Udemy is the program that we um, have been given licenses from our partners with Cloudera. Um, and Toluwani, uh, she actually she came on board with us back in the summer for Code Academy. And then whenever we started this next phase of the pilot with Cloudera, we reached out and she was super excited about this program. And so she jumped right in. And um, every week, the team at Cloudera sends out a leaderboard that shows how many hours every student has completed. And the minimum was 10 hours on the platform by December 17th. And Tolawani, um, as of like a week and a half ago, had completed almost 13 hours. Um, so she is definitely taking full advantage of that license on Udemy. She's able to get on and learn about tons of different activities. Um, there are coding courses, there's math courses, professional development, finance courses. I mean, just tons of different things. And so um, it's just really awesome to be able to see, um, I, you know, a high school student make that kind of time to really focus in and learn some more things um, on their own. Uh, so we'll we'll just talk real quick through the impact so far. Uh, so Club Next as a whole, so the digital club as a whole, has 156 students that are completely enrolled. 
82 of those students participate in the virtual program. Um, we have had a total of 252 Code Academy uh, participants, and so that includes um, Club Next members as well as other youth served, which means that we have served them, but they are not a member, um, as well as in club members. Uh, we have had a total of 67 high school students that have participated in the Teen Accelerator Program, and we have served a total of 287 in-club members. Uh, so that is a, a combination of uh, working with them either online for homework help or them getting on to do, uh, you know, club next like the gaming or, or we are working with them in person. Um, this is year to date as of the beginning of November, so I'm sure that we have surpassed this by now, but uh, total online hours for 2021 um, has been almost 500 online hours. So that's 63 tutoring hours offered, 33 book nook hours, and that is a cumulative between this entire 12 month or 11 months, um, 133 my future hours and 151 Udemy hours. Um, so that just speaks volumes to the amount of um, engagement that our youth are interacting with this online uh, program and the different online platforms. Um, so our call to action for tonight, um, we invite you guys to get involved. Um, you know, invite your friends. Everything is better with friends along. Um, we are still accepting applications for the school year as well as, you know, the, the Club Next is going to be here. Um, so, you know, bring a friend along. Um, get them to you know join a challenge with you see who can get the most club bucks uh, that kind of thing uh, you could also you know for you parents and adults that are watching become a volunteer um you know we are always looking for volunteers to get engaged with us online uh you know if, if book nook and, and literacy is like your thing you could totally become a volunteer and become a book nook guide or if math tutoring math is your thing uh, you can become a volunteer and, and get online to be able to help students whenever they need help with their math homework. Um, and then lastly, spread the word. You know, uh, follow us on your social media accounts and share these posts with your friends. Um, you know, talk us up, invite people in. The more that we are able to spread the word out that we are here and that we are doing all the different things that we are doing, then uh, the more and more that we're going to be able to get the word out of what we are doing. And again, that Social media handle is at BGC mid TN, and that's across all different social media. So that's Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Um, we don't have a TikTok yet. Yet. <laughs> it's coming. Lastly, we want to say thank you. Uh, we want to say thank you for trusting us, uh, for, for giving this, you know, new kind of programming a chance. Um, we thank you for... Uh, you know, having your kids sign up and engage with the program. Um, without you guys doing what you do, then what we do, you know, it wouldn't happen. It wouldn't be there. Um, anybody else want to say any kind of closing remarks or thank yous at the end? Shout out to Melissa. Um, she got uh, a little surprise party here for her. And uh <laughs> We all missed out on it, or I happen to not miss out on it, but um, it was great. <laughs> have, uh, um, so Middle Tennessee, um, our organization and this program specifically, uh, Way Back Burgers did a national competition to see about who was making an impact in the community. And um, our CEO, Eric Higgs, um, put my name in in the programs that we do and out of across tons of different applicants from all over the nation they picked us so um had no idea that this was coming tonight um that was like on the tail end like we walked out of that into this and um you're literally a sweepstakes winner <laughs> yes like walk out of one thing to walk right into another thing of just like man like we have a lot of really awesome stuff that's going on Anybody else want to chime in? Oh, well, on that note, as I said, we we definitely thank you for, you know, getting online with us, checking us out, getting engaged and getting involved in the programs. Um, 
We will be live again tomorrow. We will go right back to the regular programming. Our last day of programming, regular programming, will be December 16th. Um, and then starting on the 17th, which is the first day of winter break, we will be bringing a whole new set of activities and programs. And we hope you guys are ready. We will see you guys tomorrow.